to start today. Shit. <laughs> if someone is capable of doing something, there's a high chance another one is also capable of doing it. But still there are a lot of people who don't live up to their potential. They stay in a work they hate. They stay in a relationship that they hate. They live in a country that they don't like and so on. And these are all limiting beliefs. They are patterns that you've learned to live by and you kind of accept it, but you still don't like it. And the result is very often a victim mindset. And a victim mindset is when you blame all the other people, you blame external circumstances, you blame whatever you can find to not take yourself accountable for your own life. And the easiest and biggest change you can make is to become more self-aware. And this is a topic that's very dear to me because I used to be exactly like the general population. I used to think that, no, it's not for me. I can't do stuff. I can't speak on camera. I can't perform before a crowd and so on. But it's not true. I can do it if, if I decide to do it and if I try to do it regardless of my beliefs. And so the easiest way to change your beliefs is by becoming aware of them. And a great analogy of, of your limiting beliefs is like you've put yourself in a box and there are multiple boxes around you and, and you will start breaking the most obvious one first. It's like, okay, you can't start a business. What if you just change it? You can start a business. You become aware of it. Oh, I just don't know how yet. And then you keep on breaking boxes after boxes. And, and this is actually the only way to become free. And freedom starts with your own mind. You first free yourself of your limiting beliefs and that results in actions that you start taking regardless of how you feel because you know that there's more. And when you keep taking action, you keep getting better, you will reach financial freedom, you will reach potential freedom, you will reach location freedom. And that's what everyone wants, right? But still, the majority of people are stuck in the mindset, in their own mind, that someone else succeeded because they had something more. They actually had something more and that was the will to try, even if they don't feel ready or perfect. That's what I did. I just started and I was terrified of it. When I started this YouTube channel years ago, I was totally scared. I, I was shaking when, when I pressed record. That's not the reality anymore. I don't really care because I know that I just have to keep doing and I will get better. Even this setup, I, I've been in video productions for over 20 years. I've done all kinds of stuff. And now I'm actually shooting this on my iPhone in a room in Sri Lanka. It's not perfect, but do I get the message true? Hell yeah. And it even breaks a little bit, but you know what? It doesn't matter because the point is to keep taking action, even if you're not ready, even if you're not perfect. And this will in time, change your beliefs about yourself because when you believe something you think something then you act and then you get results 
and then you can change your beliefs. And this is the cycle you have to go through over and over again. And it doesn't matter which level you are on. It only matters that you compete, compete with your own beliefs. You have to break your own beliefs. And that's the only competition you should have because that's the, that's the thing that will allow you to grow and expand as a human inside and also outside. And I strongly believe that like material possession and, and money and, and stuff like that, they are a result of who you are, what you are, what you represent and how you feel. Because when you feel good about yourself, and you know that you do things for a certain reason, there will, become, there, there will come opportunities and, and there will come people that are like, wow, how did you do that? I want to learn to do that. Or, wow, you seem to have a really good thing going on, your, your service or your skill set, I want to hire you. And, and you keep on climbing this ladder and you keep on getting better. So the only thing is stopping you is your limiting beliefs and I I have a mission I have a, a task for you and it starts with taking a paper and pen and you start writing out your limiting beliefs and write out what you would want to do what you would want to have what you would just what you want and then write out what is hindering you from getting there is it you're too afraid to speak on camera because you're shy or maybe you need to rehearse in the mirror and and get familiar with yourself and accept yourself and that way you will see that all the other people also accept you because we are all energy, we are frequencies and, and when you accept yourself and when you're confident, real confidence that comes from the inside, all the other people will see you as confident no matter what you look like, what you, if you have some weird thing or whatever, everybody knows that everybody has weird stuff. But if you believe that you are enough, if you believe that it's just who you are, you become confident and you understand that everything is a journey and you keep on improving yourself and improving yourself. The problem that I see often is people on social media because social media is like the cherry on top and it's so easy to compare ourselves to other people or oh, they are so successful they have that they have this but the reality is they started somewhere also and if they wouldn't have started they wouldn't have been they, they wouldn't be where they're where they're at at the moment so it's it's kind of funny when you realize how simple this is. It's actually becoming aware, aware of where your limits are, shining light on them, shining awareness and figuring out, okay, how can I break this? And once you know what you need to do, it becomes easier. And, and of course, there's going to be fears. There's going to be things that are standing in front of you and and that's kind of making it more difficult to do but once you overcome a small fear and and you get resilient you are able to overcome another fear and and you are able sorry about this you are able to overcome a lot bigger fears and obstacles with time so don't think that you need to perform to 10,000 people and, and be very fluent and, and a 
huge keynote speaker, that's not the point. You can start by just doing the little thing that breaks a little bit of your limiting beliefs. Then you write it down. Then you, you can check in a month. Okay, how many things did you break in your mind, in your subconscious mind? Because that's where all our limiting beliefs actually are and they, they kind of operate in the background. And that's why it's so difficult to, to break them because you actually have to, to repeat and, and kind of reprogram your mind and you can't do that by thinking. So I just want to keep this a shorter video and, and I'm going to keep on doing this because that's something I actually love and I, I think I have a lot to give you. So limiting beliefs, once you, once this clicks in your head, you're going to be able to do amazing stuff in a relatively short period. If you start today, shit. Okay. <laughs> if you start today and you keep on going and you keep on breaking limiting beliefs like this one, it like I, whatever <laughs> the camera falls and everything, I'm still going to pause this, whatever, because it just shows that I'm human and, and that's another thing. If you share your failures and, and, and the things that, that make you human, the, the flaws, that's just gonna make you more relatable and people will want to follow you more. That's a topic for another video. But yeah, write down your limiting beliefs, write down what you want to do and overcome them. Come up with solutions and I promise you, like in a, in a year from now, your life will be totally different. Okay? Peace out. My name is Mitz. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe, like this video, and give me a comment on what limiting belief you have broken and what impact it had. Let's make this fun. Okay? Peace out.